To adjust one fader in a group, press and hold the control key while making your level change on that fader. This will temporarily exempt that track from the group until the control key is released. Once your levels are adjusted, you can use pans to fill out the stereo spread. Now let's check the overall level on the master fader. The drums are peaking at about minus 10 to minus 12 dB, which is pretty good for this part of the process. If you find you need to adjust level on the drums up or down, you can always grab one fader and the rest of the group will follow. Building on the drums, start adding tracks one at a time and balance them against the drums. Add percussion, then bass, keys, guitars, until you have a reasonable mix on all of the instrumental backing tracks. When we bring up the vocal tracks, you'll notice that they sound rather dry in the mix. Vocals sometimes sound better with a little ambience, even in a rough mix. While we could add reverb directly to the vocal tracks, we're not going to use that method. As we've discussed before, direct plugins add latency and consume system resources at this stage of the process. Instead, let's create an aux send and return path, which will allow us to add reverb incrementally on one or more tracks using a single reverb plugin rather than a dedicated reverb for each track. 